What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. So today's episode it's all about the casting and um, one of our subscribers asked about casting, how to cast a multiplier rod. So we thought, you know what, let's do a shootout between grinder and multiplier while we're at it and we'll give you some tips on how to cast that, that, uh, that multiplier rod. Okay, so today we have Yusri Kev is with us and Faik Frankie and Fahmi Taoli and myself, four of us, and we're each going to be doing a couple of casts. I think we'll do best out of three with each rod, and we'll see what distances we get. So this is the rod we're going to be using today. Okay, so for the multiplier rod, we got a Blue Marlin Super Slim, and that is a SS40-100, and that's 14 foot. And we got that paired with a Saltiga, a 30HA. And the current line on there is, I think it's double X 0.36 millimeter, and with a 60 pound or 0.60, sorry, 0.60 uh, lead on it. And we'll be throwing a five ounce sinker with that rod. And then we got two grinders. My uh, my grinder, which is the Sasson Bluefish Zero, that rod, the, the mouthful <laughs> rod. But yeah, that's the 13 foot paired with a Saragosa 6000, and I got currently 40 pound braid on there. I do have a spare spool with 20 pounds, so I might uh, switch over and see what distance we get with the 20 pound. But mostly I fish 40 pound on there. So that's the other rod, and then we got another grinder rod, which is the Precision, uh, Kuma Precision 13 foot. And that's paired with a Pen Clash 5000 with 30 pound bar spread on there. So the two grinders we're going to be throwing 4 ounce sinkers with, and the multiplier will be throwing 5 ounce. So let's get into it, we'll see what uh, distances we get. Rod is heavier than the 
After that shot. So, you all of them. <laughs> but okay. Stay there, stay there. So now I'm gonna have to cast our Lisa Rado so because it's 30 pounds on there. Uh, I can't be beat. That's just not So that means I have to cast your rod because there's 40 pounds on there. Yes, then we're gonna see. That's also another test we can run. But guys, yeah, remember yeah. on this day the fish isn't like 120 <laughs> meters, they're like 80 meters out. <laughs> okay, let's go with another cast. One one five, let's just check. at least 300 meters. Is it? 121.2 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately the one came short by two and a half meters. You know it comes with age. How much meters? But by two and a half meters. Two and a half meters, well so done. So 121.2 yeah. um, But uh, two. just two. to rub it in I'm gonna have another cast in there yeah. and see how far I get. So uh, that, that cast point. of Kev was a lucky. Never to be repeated <laughs> again. <laughs> Okay, well done, Kev. Well done. Okay, so the exercise for today is, or what we try to do to discover is, is that what costs further and what is actually better, um, you know, in today's day and age. Is it the grinder setup or is it the multiplier setup? I would say the grinder is definitely the, the rod to use or the setup to use because it's so much easier, there's so much pros, but we will discuss the pros and the cons about both of them soon. But for now, here's a tip on the multiplier. What I like to do is, I like to keep my hands a bit wet so that you know the, the, the mono doesn't heat up against your finger when you're casting. So, you know, if we had the water, I normally dip my hand in a bit of sea water before I do a cast, but I'm on the field now, so I got a bottle of water. I just make it a little bit wet, and then we'll do that cast. Right. So here's the pros and cons that uh, I think about the, the multiplier. Uh, the pros is, well there's only one pro basically, is that the line is cheap. Uh, you can pick up a uh, mono for 160 bucks, 100 rand even, uh, depending on the line, but very cheap. And uh, yeah, that's the only pro I would think is about the multiplier. 
The cons about it is that you can't fish too thick line. So we currently got 0.36. That is a very good line for, for casting. Uh, you get good distance with it. And also it has very little memory in it. So you don't get any birdness or anything or not not quite easily with, with 0.36. So if you start going thicker like 4.0, 0.50, you start getting a lot of memory in the line. And the memory is taking the shape of the spool basically. So once you let go, it, it kind of just bounces and you'll get a, bird, uh, a bird's nest. So that's the, the cons about it. And yeah, like I said, you can't really go thick line on it. So if you want to target fish between the reefs and that stuff, it's difficult to fish with 0.45 because you don't get much distance with it. Okay, so that brings me now to the grinder setups. Uh, the pros about the grinder is you can fish a thicker braid. So you can go 40 pound or 50 pound in between the bricks if you're going for muscle cracker. Uh, easy to cast, you're not going to get any overruns or, or bird's nest with it. Uh, that's the pros, yeah, and more sensitive also. Uh, you feel the bites quicker with braid compared to mono. Okay, so the cons about the, the grinders is um, the grinders are a bit expensive as a reel, but then what, what reel isn't expensive? And uh, the braid, the braid is a bit expensive. You're paying about 350, 360 rand for a 300 meter spool. So it is much more than, uh, than mono. But that's about the only con about it. Um, you do lose line between the bricks, uh, but that's fishing. I mean, who doesn't lose terminal tackle? Okay, so that's the, the pros and cons about both setups, the multiplier versus the grinder. So going back to what the subscriber asked me, any tips on, on throwing multipliers? I can give you two tips, basically, throw a thinner line, 0.36. The less memory, the easier it is to throw. And uh, make sure your setup is balanced. You got a nice light reel with a nice rod, uh, which we think is the SS 4000, the Super Slim, paired with a size 30 Daiwa reel. So you can either go Saltus or Saltiga, very good reels. So the other thing is, keep your fingers wet or your spool wet. Don't dip your whole reel into the salt water, but make your hand a bit wet. So, uh, you know, the mono doesn't heat up while you're casting uh, in the cast, and that makes it a bit smoother. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, so that's uh, the video of multiplier versus grinder shootout. And uh, you be the judge. Drop a comment below. Tell us what you prefer, multiplier or grinder. But that ends the video, so thanks for watching guys, and please hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cool. Cheers guys.